I'm Victoria, goddess of the underworld. You caught me in my feeding hour. Lucky you. Or, I should say, unlucky you. Well, let's get to it. I don't have all day. It was 1962, Halloween night. The Walinskis were passing out candy to the local children. I had a trick, and Dr. Walinski was my treat. Well, happy Halloween. <laughs> well, here's a treat for you. There you go. Okay, off you go. You be safe now. Brush your teeth. Doctor's orders. Okay, you have a wonderful night. Bye now. <laughs> Hello, doctor. Sweetheart, isn't it too much food? Nonsense. It's our little Susie Sweet Sixteen, and I want to make a breakfast that's fit for a queen. I remember when you were 15. Oh, do you now? Oh, Raymond, what if she comes in here? <clears throat> Good morning. Hello, dear. Oh, wow, gee. Ah, uh, yes, sweetheart. I've prepared all of your favorite breakfast dishes, see? Oh, Mom, you didn't have to do that. Oh, we want to ensure this is the best Sweet Sixteen birthday ever. Sure thing, Daddy-o. So, Daddy, I was thinking you could pick me up from school at three to go to the DMV. Oh, honey, I completely forgot. You forgot? We've been planning this for six months. Something's come up. I'm so sorry, dear. How could something just come up? We've been planning this. Uh, uh, darling, your father and I have something to tell you, but we don't want you to worry. Last week, when I told you that your father fell and hit his head and we had to block all the light out of the windows, well, that wasn't entirely true. What do you mean? Your father has a condition. A condition? Yes. Hyperemesis sangre gravidare. Oh, no. Oh, Daddy. Oh, 
I'm fine, dear. I, your mother and I don't want you to worry. It's... Ah, hey there's the birthday girl! <laughs> Daddy, are you all right? I'm fine, dear. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, we turn the fan on. Just... Hey, what's, what's wrong? Uncle Bob, Daddy has hyperemesis, sangra gravidarum. I'm so worried. Raymond has an allergy to light, Bob. Oh, yeah, that's, that sounds awful. <laughs> yes, it is awful. He can't even take me to the DMV. Oh, sweetheart, I would take you, but I have a giant cake to bake for your birthday. It's okay, I'll just get my license another time. Well, hey, I can take you. Really, Uncle Bob? Yeah, anything for you, Susie Q. Oh, well, that's so kind, Bob. Isn't it, dear? Yes, dear. Oh. Oh, that's Margaret. Oh, but, 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 darling, you haven't had any breakfast. Here, have, mm, have an egg and a pancake. Thank you. Oh, happy birthday, my darling. Oh. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Uh, pick me up 2.45, okay? My little angel just hustling off to be productive in this world. The little bunny just skipping along. <laughs> Hypermesis sangre gravidarum. What was I supposed to say? Well, how about I had an important client? And make your daughter feel like she comes second. Bob, how many times have I had to tell you not to bring blood into this kitchen when Susie's here? Aw, oh, sorry, Seth. I wish you wouldn't do that. Go what? Never mind. Oh, by the way, you guys should have seen the guy from last night that I worked on, 300 pounds, shot in. Real sweet face, though. You could tell he was a good guy. Stank to heaven, but the insides, you know, smelled nice. Anyways, I got 15 liters out of him. You're welcome. We are so grateful for all your help. What would we do without you? Um, that's what family is for. Hey, speaking of which, when are you gonna tell Susie? Never. Never. Now, who could that be? It's 7.30 in the morning. Hmm. Natasha! <clears throat> Natasha! <clears throat> you, uh, doing all right there, Radar? Uh... Hey, Sarah? Betty, I'm sure that you have absolutely nothing to worry about. No, my ginger only barks when she senses danger. Oh, is that so? Yes. No. You know, is the moon out recently? Yes, because, you know, I hear that animals are affected by lunar phase. Fa no, 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 no. It's more than that. Hey, Sarah, Raymond is acting real cool. Hello. Hi. Do you care to introduce us, sis? Betty, this is my brother, Bob. Bob, this is Betty. Wow, oh, Betty. Bob? That's a, a name as well. My, uh, this is, this is Ginger. I have never seen a finer dog in my life. <sighs> so you live near here. Okay, don't even answer that. That's all right. Did you have something to tell me? Uh-uh. Bob. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just that Raymond is acting a little Raymond? off. Raymond? A little Raymond? different. What do you mean by different? He's hey. not really the same as yesterday. Is everything okay? Yes, Betty, everything's fine. Everything's great. Uh, different. It's, uh, it's bad. How bad? Pretty bad. It, is something going on? No, Bob, why don't you go in, Betty? Everything is fine. I'll let you know if there's any unusual activity in the neighborhood. Up. All right? Please. All right. Stop by any yes. time. Yes, goodbye, I'm usually here. I'd like that. Ciao. Maybe, yes, thank Tomorrow. you. Bye-bye. Bye, Betty. Bye. 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 <gasps> oh. This is bad. He 
Yeah, but at least he's cleaning up after himself. Miss Jones, this is Dr. Walensky. Yes, that is why I'm calling. I need to reschedule our appointment for today. Oh, no, nothing is wrong. I'm just a little under the weather. I wouldn't want you to catch my bug. Uh, yes, I'm sure I'll be fine. I, I will do that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hey, radio. Practice is really taking a dump, huh? Been there. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. Everything's gonna bounce back. Why are you so chipper? Because, my friend, I believe in the power of positive thinking. There's nothing positive about this. I'm a monster, Bob. Okay, A, that's not true. You're not a monster. You're a great dad. You just love blood. And B, this is very positive. I mean, look at me. Before this happened, I was alone with dead people. And now I'm here with you guys, draining cadavers, learning psychiatry. We're best friends. This is very positive. What happens if I go completely crazy in front of Susie? That's not gonna happen, because I'm not gonna allow it. No, figure it out. You're a psychiatrist. Let's psychiatrize this. I got it. I can hypnotize you. It takes a trained professional to properly hypnotize a subject, Bob. Nah, I've seen movies. You are getting very sleepy. No, I'm not. Your eyes find themselves closing. I'm wide awake. You find yourself in a trance-like state, Radar. I'm Bob. I'm Victoria, goddess of the underworld. Ah, uh, jeepers. You know what? I thought, hey, there's a colleague. I work with the dead, too. Put her there. I wish there could have been another way, Dr. Walker, but you came highly recommended. Oh, did you want to say something? It's Dr. Walensky, Raymond Walensky, not Walker. Oh dear, I made a mistake. <laughs> you ruined my life. Walker Walensky, it's an easy mistake to make. Don't be mad. You turn people into monsters. I never harm anybody without a good reason. I'm not a beast, Raymond. The underworld has such a bad reputation. It really hurts the way we are misunderstood. We have feelings, Raymond. We? Us. Changelings. Vampires. Zombies. Witches. Ghouls. Heck, even the smelly werewolves. You... you recruited me into your little club because you need a psychologist? Actually, I meant to bite Mr. Walker. But I guess you'll do. <laughs> Such a tense. My goodness. <laughs> well, your patients will be arriving shortly. And who knows? In time, you actually might find it quite rewarding. Welcome to the family, Mr. Walker. <laughs> He's a strange one. Bye bye. Miss Walensky! I like her. I hate her. Wait, no. No, you were looking at this all wrong. Okay, this, this is an opportunity. I can't believe you're making this into a positive thing. Of course I am. Listen, think of all those creatures out there, sad, lonely, in need of help. This is a way for you to put your practice back on its feet and do some real good at the same time. Huh? You would say that. You love dead people. <laughs> I do. You really get me. We're not best friends. 
You're upset. Hello, dear. Oh, hello, handsome. You feeling more like yourself, dear? I am. Hmm. You have done a fantastic job. Susie will love it. Mm. Where is our birthday girl? Oh, she's getting ready. Oh, uh, by the way, I bought her a birthday dress. It was just a little bit pricey. I hope you don't mind. It's worth it. Oh, look at that. Darling. Oh. Oh, dear. Do you have any idea how long that flower arrangement took me to do? The rose looks better on you. Well, I wouldn't even know, would I? You hid all the mirrors in the garage, didn't you? I feel so horrible lying to her. Yes, me too. If anybody sees a giant bug, don't step on it. Wow. You guys look fantastic. Here, get together. Oh. Okay, say cheese. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be a keeper. Well, now, who's that? Like a movie star. <laughs> I'm so happy you can make it tonight, Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, Susie, but. <laughs> now that you know where I live, you can come over anytime. Anytime? About your parents. <gasps> you can meet them. Come, come. Mom, Dad, Uncle Bob, <laughs> this is Jimmy Dawson, my boyfriend. Glad to meet you, sir, ma'am. Boyfriend. Jeepers, you're a handsome man, Jimmy. Welcome to the family. Boyfriend. Jimmy and I have been going steady for a month. A month. Hmm. That's right. A month. Sweetheart? James? Sweetheart? That's not the dress that I bought you. Don't I look like a movie star? Yes. It's so Very tight. Mature. I hate him. Honey? Hey, you guys, scoot closer. Let's take a picture. Oh, no. I don't think we should. Yeah. Should... Oh. Say cheese. You could be sisters. <sighs> now my yes. son is learning. So, Jimmy, tell me, what do you do? Well, sir, I'm a poet. Ah, I'm a mortician myself. Wow. How did you get into morticianing? Uh, well, let's see. After the Navy, I ended up uh, applying and then flunking out of medical school and then nursing school and then a lot of other schools. Eventually, I couldn't even get in. And then luckily, their school for the funeral arts was accepting everybody. And uh, one thing led to another, and now, pure bliss. Gee, what a gas, huh? Yes, what a gas. So, James. Uh, poetry, you uh, say it for a job? You can do it as a job? Oh, <laughs> oh it reminds me, sweetie. I got you something. <laughs> I wouldn't be shaking. <laughs> My Susie Q with eyes so blue. Her eyes are brown. Your heart's so tender. Skin so soft, 
forever true, my love will be for you, my sweet Susie Q. That's the most romantic thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Help me. You like it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. You just look at him. <clears throat> Poetry is power. Oh, dear. You like it? Oh, they're really going for it. No, darling, darling, it's all right. Over here, over here, over here. Yes. Oh. See? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Shall we eat? Do you need help, dear? No, I'm fine, honey. <sighs> Uncle Bob, can I see the photos? Oh, of course. What do you think of my handiwork? That's weird. Dad, you're not in any of the photos. That is very strange. You know what that probably is? I bought this film from a carnival worker, and you cannot trust them. Have you ever seen such a thing? No. Maybe your dad's a vampire. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the reason that she's laughing so boisterously is because there's no way he could be a vampire. <laughs> no, if that were true, all of us would be lying to you and keeping a huge secret in it. <laughs> well, you know what they say, vampires can't be seen in photos because they have no soul. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I read that. Yeah, I've read that too. Here you go. You go ahead and get started, dear. I'll be right back. Yes, dear. <laughs> Dad, are you all right? Yes, just, uh, yes, managed to pinch a nerve, didn't I? Cover that up so no one can see it. Hey, hi. <laughs> so how did you two lovebirds meet? In chemistry class. Oh, chemistry. Oh, do you, do you like chemistry? Oh, yeah, it's neat. I, f I flunked four times, but um, Sue's been really good at helping me out. She's really helped me get the hang of it now. She's really smart. Yeah. She is smart, yeah. like her mother. Oh, thank you, dear. Yes, please. OK. Here's to a family with no secrets. No. I think this is, this is your dad's. Oh, look at that. It's your special wine, dear. It's divine, aged to perfection, as they say. Can I try some? No, no, you may not, dear. You drink your water, eat your loaf. Okay. So gorgeous. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Susie. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, happy birthday. Quand je vous aimerai, ma foi, je ne sais pas.
I'm here to see Dr. Walensky. Oh, then uh, right behind you. Oh, oh yes. Dr. Walensky. Yes. I was referred by Vicky. Wonderful. Please okay. have a seat. Okay. Over here. Please walk forward. Oh. Lie okay. down on the couch. Oh. Right. My love. My sweet darling. I assure you I'll explain everything. But for now, could you please give us some privacy? Let the doctor do his work. Privacy. Yes, dear. It's flying around in my house. Susie, where are you? How are we gonna help this creature? Get out, Bob. That sounds wise. Shall we begin? Is that a trick question? I feel like that's a trick question. I feel like you're trying to trick me. You're just like all the others. And by the others, I mean dad. And by dad, I mean father. And by father, I mean my papa. You wanna know something? You wanna know what, what my father said to me? He goes, humans, no matter where they're from, they can all do one thing really well. They can all die. You know what you can't do, son? You can't die. How did that? make you feel clearly i'm not comfortable i'm not comfortable i'm not comfortable with myself which is really the problem i don't yeah you want to know what it is uh, okay great question i'll tell you i don't i don't like myself and i definitely don't love myself so there you go so how do you fix that in one session This isn't people stuck on an island. From the depths of evil comes a diabolic killer of beautiful women. That's not good. the channels. That's neat. <gasps> Embrace the darkness, or else there will be no light. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Too good, buddy. What's going on? Where's Natasha? She took Susie to school. Mm. Okay. Open up. What's going on? I ate Betty's dog. Oh. It is a good thing. You were my best friend. Mm. I bet she'll need someone to comfort her. Okay. Always a bright side. <laughs> I feel very sick. Yeah, well, vampires aren't supposed to eat animals. How am I supposed to know that, Bob? Uh, it's common knowledge. Really, go to the library. Hmm. Susie is home. I thought you said she was at school. Just put it in some... Oh, my angel, what are you doing home? Hi, hey. What are you two doing? Is that blood? Uh, but... Uncle Bob here is uh, conducting experiments. 
for work mm. with blood. Uh-huh. Oh, that's gross. Disgusting. Ah, uh, uh, but is it? I'm thinking of a, uh, these uh, as dolls. I'm gonna call them blood buddies. Um, <laughs> this one is Margaret. She's a musician. This one, what did you name this one? Ed. I just forgot my book bag. Oh, there it is right there, sweetheart. Have a good day, Uncle Bob. You too, kiddo. You two should kiss. Honey, I know things have been different the last few weeks. I'm sorry we haven't gotten much time to spend together. That's OK. How are you feeling? Oh, wonderful. Just peachy. Dad, hmm? is there a cure for hypermesis sangra gravidarum? Oh, hypermesis gravi gravi. No, no, I'm afraid not. Are you gonna die? No. Oh, oh, I'm so glad. I was really worried. I'm worried now. Of course, I love you, Dad. All right. I love you too, sweetheart. Oh, I'm gonna be late. Oh, yes, of course. Ah! <clears throat> Sorry about that. It was a little dramatic. I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Off you go. Are you now. okay? Oh, yes. Wonderful. A little hot under the collar, so they say. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> Have a great day. Oh, yes. Yes. Off you go. I'll be here. Just call if you need me. Go. Honey, ice pack. work or something. Oh, for goodness sake. You know, the beauty of working with the dead is they never know if you're blowing off work. <laughs> Listen, the ladies are coming over for bridge any minute. Hey, speaking of which, Betty is coming, yes? Yes. Oh, that's them. Promise you won't embarrass me. Sis, it's me. Can you pick these up for me? Bob! I need grapes! We have some lovely cocktails prepared for you ladies this evening. Thank you. So why the blackout curtains, Natasha? Well, haven't you heard? It's the latest thing to prevent premature aging. Yes, I just hung them a few weeks ago and I already feel years younger. Well, you do look wonderful, Natasha. Yes, you I'm so worried. My little Ginger didn't come home last night. I'll get the hors d'oeuvres. Perhaps she's in heat. Yes. Animals have a very strong urge to mate. No, no, no. I am telling you that there is something not right. I'm certain I saw a man lurking around my house last night. A man? Now, Betty, come on. You know, this is a perfectly safe neighborhood. What if there's a predator? I live alone. Who's going to protect me? Probably Mr. Peters. Oh. Did I tell you he tried to look up my skirt the other day? Oh, horny old man. Oh, here we are. Oh, goodness me. I forgot to take your coats. Oh, <laughs> silly. Oh. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Here we are. Okay. Here we are. Hello. Oh. Hi. Jane, Mary, this is my... Brother Bob, he's oh. visiting. Hey, Mom. Hello. Uh, hi. Hello, again. Would you ladies care for a drink? I'd love that. Yes, please. Yes. yes. Just hold on. I, he's a dream bot, an absolute dream bot. Betty, Betty, yes. your car. Oh, yes. Let's play the game. That's why we're here. That's right. Yes. Dreadful hand. Oh. 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 Bob. Yeah. yeah. Is that you're doing? Is what am I doing? But he's dead dog. He's in the closet. Hey, 
Oh, so that's where he put it. You knew about this? Of course I did. Oh, God. All right, just, 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 just act normal. I always do. Go, be normal. How are we doing here? Oh, Raymond, may I have a word with you? Excuse me. Raymond, what is Buddy's dead dog doing in the coat closet? I'm sorry, honey. <gasps> Raymond, how could you? So annoying. How it barked all the time. I couldn't help myself. <sighs> Raymond, you cannot go around biting people's dogs. What if people get suspicious? Yes. No. No more pets. And just so you know, it made me really sick. Thank you, dear. Mahalo. Mahalo. <laughs> Natasha tells me that you're a mortician. Indeed I am. I have performed the funeral arts. Oh, that's where I know you from. You dealt with my late husband, Mort. I see so many dead bodies. I don't, I don't know. Well, you did. You're the only one in town. And you made him look 30 years younger. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I have a talent, but I'll tell you the secret. A little bit of coconut oil. Stop it. And coconut oil Stop. and a loofah does wonders. Well, I know I'm not dead yet, but could you do that for me? Mm -hmm. What? I want to look 30 years younger. It's a loofah, not a magic wand. Oh, oh Natasha, you must feel so safe living in this house with two strong men to protect you. Oh. <laughs> huh? Yes. Yeah. She does. You know, my dog, Ginger, that you met, she's missing. And I'm certain that a prowler took her. Ginger was a fantastic beast. It was probably just a, a coyote or a ravenous raccoon. You know what? Why don't we just play the game, shall we? Yeah, um, yes. Um, no trap in this round. I live alone, you know. Oh, I, I didn't know that. No yes. husbands or lovers? Not at the moment. Oh, well, if you'd like, I could come over and help check your locks and your windows. I'd like that. You would? You know, you have very kind eyes. And your, and your fluffy beard. It's just, you, you remind me of someone. Mm. Ginger? I was thinking more like a cross between Santa Claus and Frankie Avalon. It's your turn. Oh. She's got a seven, a four, two nines, and a jack. Oh, oh. God's sake. Ruin the game. Betty, oh. you're up. Cinnamon roll, anyone? Yes, thank you. Please. Please. No, thank you. He makes a wonderful cocktail. <laughs> He's a dreamboat, an absolute dreamboat. Yes, I've been told. Oh, hi, sweetie. Hello. How was your day? Oh, it was really good. Hmm. That's a really nice tie. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, it is. Not my favorite, but... It looks really good on you. Oh, well, maybe I'll wear it more often. I, do you need help with your homework? No. I just wanted to talk with you. Oh, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. 
What is it, sweetie? So you talk to people and you help them with relationships and their feelings and how that all works together. And this is really embarrassing, actually. Um, it's about sex. Yes. I know a kid doesn't normally talk to a parent about this kind of thing, but since you are a doctor, I was thinking you could see me as a client hmm. and you could give me your advice. Hmm. Does Jimmy want to have with you? That's just the thing. He thinks we should wait, and I, I don't understand why. Perhaps it's because he could go to jail for a very long time. It's illegal. Dad. He's breaking the law. Dad. You are far too young to be thinking about these types of things with boys. I am not too young. You are 12 years old. I'm 16 years old. I just had a birthday. Happy birthday to you. You don't understand. Has he married you? Do you have a ring on your finger? No. Exactly. No, but you know, you I- You consummate upon marriage. I thought you of all people would understand this. I know that you think he is a nice young man, but he there is. are a lot of nice young men in the world and you don't need to give this thing to the first one you meet. Mom did. That was different. No, it's not. How is it different? We were in love. We are in love. We love each other. She loves me and I love her. We're in love. You are not in love. You go to your room. You are so wrong. Go to your room, ah. come back here. Uh, okay, we'll continue this later. Okay, honey, good talk. Mm. Love, capital L, love. Ugh. Are you all right, dear? Not really. Oh, my. You seem flushed, darling. Here, take this oh, off. Yes. Here, let me help you with that. Thank you, my dear. I'll just set it here for now, all right? Yes. Wait a minute. Raymond, what did you do? Oh, nothing. I don't believe you. I know that face. It's Susie. <gasps> You bet Susie. No! I wouldn't do that. She is our daughter. She tried to talk to me about sex. Sex? I was completely unprepared. Oh, my poor little sweet, innocent angel princess doll, Susie. I'm going to kill that boyfriend. Oh. Susie! Susie, come down here Natasha, right now! Natasha, Natasha, that will only make things worse. Oh, my poor little Susie going out with that poet. Wait here. Oh, God, sex. Did you need something, Mom? Yes, Susie, you and I, we're going to have a nice little chat. He told you, didn't he? I hate Dad. Well, now, don't you talk about your father that way. I shared with Dad private, personal things. And instead of treating me like a client, he treated me like a child. <sighs> Darling, your father and I both agree that Jimmy is just too old for you. He's only 18. You're 16. I love him. I, I... Jimmy? Yes, Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, you know, you know what, darling? You, 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 you should be patient with your father because he's been through a very difficult last few weeks. I just, I feel like he's been difficult. Yes, yes, I, I agree, I agree. I know you don't like Jimmy. 
I'm sure that he was a very nice person. What? Is. When you met Daddy, was it love at first sight? Uh, yes, actually, yes. It, it was love at first sight, darling. Oh, so you understand how I feel for Jimmy. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, uh, no. Okay, Mom. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, darling. It's okay, Mom. Oh, oh, oh goodness. No, I just, oh. Oh, it's I'm, great, Mom. I know, I'm sorry, dear. I just love you so much. I just want to hold you for a oh, moment longer. Okay, that's all right. Oh. There we are. That's, that's fine. I'm fine now. I'm fine now. Well, I'm so glad we had this talk. Yes. It was a very nice, nice talk, wasn't it, dear? Yes. Hmm. Yes. I feel better. Thank you. Me too. All right, why don't you go and lay that lovely, perfect head of yours on that pillow upstairs in the bedroom? Good night, Mom. All right, good night, good dear. Night. Raymond Walensky. It's not what you think. Oh, Actually, it is what you think. I found him sneaking into Susie's bedroom window. Oh, God. What is our daughter Susie going to think when she finds out that you killed her boyfriend? I didn't kill him. Oh. I was biting him, then I came to my senses just in time. Oh, God. This is awful. Raymond, this is just awful. What are we going to do when he turns into a vampire, Raymond? <laughs> I didn't think about that. No, you didn't think about that, did you? Uh, that Betty is something else, huh? Oh, come on, guys. Look, I know she's a little bit older, right? And she's your neighbor, but I promise, boy, I am keen over that peachy pie, and I'm not gonna screw the pooch. I'm gonna take care of her because I love her. God, Bob, could you just stop talking about Betty? Can't you see we've got real problems here? What happened? I bit Jimmy. You beat Jimmy? He's in the closet. Yes, in the closet. Turning into a vampire. Turning into a vampire. Susie doesn't know. Susie doesn't know. Could you both just stop that, Pop? Just, just help us, please. Well, this is a pickle. OK. OK. OK, here's what's going to happen. We're going to be fine. We just have to keep up appearances. And that's why? We are going to throw a cocktail party. Oh. Okay. Flapjacks. Making flapjacks. Everything looks lovely. 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 Oh. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. I Happy book bag. All ready for you. I alphabetized all your books, went over your algebra. Wonderful. Great job, sir. Where's mom? She's feeling a little under the weather with the, the month things. So you'll learn all about it in college, university. Sorry I got mad at you last night. No, no, no. I'm sorry. You, you came to me seeking advice from a medical professional, and there I was, acting like a crazy father. I understand. I just, I really want you and Mom to give Jimmy a chance. He's sweet and funny and wonderful and marvelous. Oh, we just want you to be happy. Thank you, Daddy. Oh. What was that? Nothing. That was your mother vacuuming yet again. She's a vacuumer, always vacuuming that one. So we are going to get you your breakfast. I made you a fork. And just use that and then just take a little sip there. Get your vitamin C and calcium. Mm. Yummy, yum. See? 
Thank you. Okay. Hey, off you go. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Love you. Just tear it and eat away. Chomp chop a roo. How long has it been since you were uh, transformed? Three months ago, I was normal. I was smaller. I didn't have all this hair and these teeth. And now, I'm eating people. I just, I just have no life. Oh, well, I, there must be something uh, positive about your existence. It's really hard to go home. My family, my wife, my dog. I love that bitch. I'm still dad. Hmm. Have they, have they accepted you? Well, I don't think they have a choice. I pay the bills. Oh, that's good. My life does not work. Oh. Pain in my ass. But I love her. I love her. I have nobody. I have nothing. They just kept me in my room all the time, and I couldn't even eat anybody. Brains taste like, oh, God, let me, let me tell you what brains taste like. Please assist me. You're still accounting. I work from home. Okay. So I don't see my clients? Oh, good. Well, our neighbor saw me for like five minutes. And then he can't see anymore. Of course. Eight is... And oh, man, I've like had this sick feeling all the time. And... See, okay. Well, William, have you ever tried the healing power of hypnosis? Bob. <laughs> Go. <laughs> So where were we? I was... Sorry, that just comes over me every once in a while. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Good session. So, um, off you go. Uh, what, do you fly? No, I walk. Oh, well, off you go. And you're getting pretty good at this. You know that boy is still in the closet, though. You should probably go check that one out. You should have just finished him off, you know? Hey, what are you doing with me? Put me down. Put me down. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Ah. What are you writing, Bob? I've been working on a love poem. You want to hear it? No. My sweet Betty fills my heart with confetti. Today can be our time if you'll only be mine. <laughs> What's the matter, dear? Is the rhyme scheme too complicated? No. It's Jimmy. He hasn't returned my phone calls. I haven't seen him in two days. I think he broke up with me. Maybe he's sick. Oh, I probably joined the Navy. Daddy, can I please borrow the car to check on him? Uh, I don't know if you need to leave the house. Plus, the car's out of gas. You shouldn't drive when you're emotional. Don't leave the house. You know what, kiddo? Let's do get out of here. Let's get some ice cream. I'll let you drive the hearse. That's a wonderful idea, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> grab my coat. No, no, uh, wait, darling. Don't go in the closet, dear, because your father has just sprayed for toxic spiders. Right. Isn't that right, dear? Yeah. Yes, dear. OK. See? Plus, you're already wearing Jimmy's sweater. Oh, dear. He's starting to turn, Raymond. What are we going to do? I feel just awful. I wish I could undo all of this. Well, that doesn't help us now, does it? Oh, come on, Raymond. Think. Oh. Think, darling. Oh, just give me a moment. Mm. What are you doing? Shh, shh, shh. Uh. Uh.
What was I supposed to do? He stays quiet now. Raymond, I love you, but I hardly recognize you anymore. I hardly recognize myself. Mine's off. I'm so very sorry. I know this has been hard on you. You've been incredibly good, given everything. I just want things to go back to normal again. Darling, of course, and they will, I promise. Except for werewolves and the underworld and counseling the creatures of the night and blood sucking and dead animals and teenagers and In a blanket, ladies. Oh, thank, thank you so much. Hello. No, you're oh, not hello. A boy. <laughs> Pig in a blanket. Oh, thank you. Uh, Bob, may I speak to you for a moment? Sure. You mind giving us a minute here, Wiggles? Sure. Oh, wow. Wiggles. Oh, you better believe it. Oh, where's Raymond? Um, I don't know. Well, where could he be? Uh, hello, everyone. Oh. Sorry I'm late. Hello, darling. Where have you been? Bob, may I borrow your hearse? You bet. Hearse? What did you do, dear? Mr. Peters. <gasps> no, he's in the shed. No. Oh, Raymond. Oh, oh he was peeking into Betty's bedroom window. Ooh. Ooh. Bob, I met a guy named Bob. He is the most wonderful man that I've ever seen. I like that. into Betty's bedroom window. My Betty's window? That's the one. Thanks, Ray Dog. Blood, 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 blood. You bet. Blood, right away. Oh, oh, oh. Raymond, dear, dear. Your basely nature is out of control, my darling. Strangely, I feel fine. <laughs> and one yeah. white for the lady. Oh. And a red hey. for the gentleman. <laughs> it's a college football player. Uh, <clears throat> oh, a, uh, a toast to, uh, friends. And neighbors. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> to friendship. 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 To friendship. <laughs> yes. Everything is wonderful, Natasha. Oh, thank you, Jane. <laughs> you must have spent days cooking. Oh, it's what I love to do. Oh. Mm. Hello. Hi, Mom. Hi, Daddy. Oh, oh hello, sweetheart. sweetheart. Pig in a blanket. Oh, thank you. Mm. Oh, someone's thirsty. <laughs> I'll be back. No. And she's off. You look wonderful here. Oh, thank you. So, 
Sorry, radio. I forgot. That guy jumped off the bridge because he was tripping on LSD. Yes. Yes. You are your father just had too many pigs in a blanket, is all. Pigs. Would you just stand up really quick? Um Betty, um oh, what is your last name? Winslow. Oh, I thought it'd be more Jewish. No, uh, it's just Winslow. Okay. Betty Winslow, will you make me the happiest man on earth and be my bride? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Oh. Oh. Susie? Jimmy. Don't bite me. And explain everything. <laughs> now, I know this may seem bizarre for you, the whole vampire thing, but really, dear, it is quite miraculous. <laughs> your father was handpicked by yours truly, and he is a very special, a very great man. And us creatures of the underworld, well, we need him. So, if you promise not to scream, I'll promise not to bite you. Sound good? Great. Handpicked for what? Why? Well, your father's been treating us with our emotional well-being. Monsters are real. Monsters have feelings. Yes. Why does everybody keep saying that to me? Do you have any idea what it's like to see your friends and your family wither away while you stay exactly the same. Hmm. Now, I don't mind the not wrinkling part, but <laughs> it does get very, very lonely. Jimmy, what about him? Why is he? Well, that was an accident. You could blame your father for that one. He lost his temper, but don't be mad. He will need some guidance. He's a bit simple, that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I understand. Great. My father and my boyfriend are both vampires because of you. Yes! <laughs> You've ruined our lives! You... Why am I? You are indeed 
your father's child. <laughs> well then, why don't you come with me? I'll show you. are in the Monster's Hall of Fame. Is that you? No. That is my mother, Gloria. She was a real pain in the ass. Over there is my brother, Victor. He works out in Transylvania. Why did you bring me here? Well, do you see that? Yes. That is where your father's painting will go. That says Dr. Walker, and my father is Dr. Walensky. <laughs> Where? Igor! Will you change that plaque already? Point is, your father has a calling. What's that? Hmm? Of that. That is for your Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob? He found a new set of powers. I am Bob! And we are still trying to understand them. Let's get you back. Will I see you again? Of course. We are practically sisters now. <laughs> Susie, you're better off without me. <gasps> ah! Raymond! Oh. You know what? Fine! Go ahead, kill yourself. See if I care whether you live or die. Ah! Ah! Why with the hitting? That's going to leave a mark. You again? You're new here, okay, I get it, but I just, I'm here, I'm a regular, I'll be here long after you're gone. Okay, I'm here, it's its Oliver, I'm here to see Dr. Walensky for 9 a.m. Tuesday. He's in the oven at the moment. No, I'm, I'm the 9 a.m., I'm, I'm the Tuesday 9 a.m., Dr. Walensky. Raymond, your 9 o'clock is here. Damn it! Dr. Walensky? Oh, there you are, such an honest face. I thought about what you said, not all of it, because frankly, some of it you were projecting, but that's normal. But yes, I just can this like... session not happen in my kitchen? Unless you want to chop onions with me, I suggest you follow him into his office. Thank you very much. I'm the dark. I'm afraid of me. Right? Right? Yeah, that's, that's, very, that's very true. I just need you to say Part everything's going to be Oliver. okay. Everything's going to be okay. Can you just say everything's going to be okay? This way. Okay, right this. Oh, for goodness sake. Dr. Walensky, Dr. Walensky, there are stairs. Please sit down. I love you both, but I'm very disappointed in your actions. What we did was inexcusable. I'm very sorry. I hate that you both lied to me. And we are so very, very sorry, aren't we? When your father was bitten, we made a pact that we would protect you no matter what. We didn't want you to be scared, darling. I'm very sorry about Jimmy. It's okay. It's understandable. You were so grown up. We were wrong not to have told you. That's all I wanted to hear. Hypermesis sangra gravidarum. Yes, well. Does Uncle Bob know? He brings your father cadaver blood from the mortuary. I've come to learn that there's a lot more to this world than we could have ever imagined. I was recruited by the goddess of the underworld, Victoria to provide counsel to the creatures of the underworld. It turns out monsters have a lot of emotional issues. Got it. 
goddess? Uh, yes, dear. Is she beautiful? I suppose. Did she do anything other than bite you? Natasha. Well, what else am I supposed to think when a beautiful goddess comes for my husband? So, Dad, will you live forever? Yes, dear. Crosses? No. Holy water? Garlic? Oh, that's, that's a myth. I put lots of garlic in that brisket that you like that you can't eat anymore. That brisket was divine. Thank you, darling. Is there anything else you two would like to tell me? Well, I have an incredibly heightened sense of hearing. Have you heard my private conversations with Jimmy? Oh, God, his parents must be so worried about him. Well, his parents are dead. All good. I love you both. We, we love, love you, you darling. darling. <gasps> well, hey -o, hey -o, what a beautiful morning indeed. Oh, well, somebody's feeling so much better today, aren't uh, they? Uh, <laughs> yes, thank you, Bob. <laughs> no, really, Natasha, thank you ever so mm. much for the most wonderful cocktail party last night. Oh, yes, it was rather special, wasn't it, dear? Yes, dear. It really was yeah, special. It was so special. It really was. You're special. You're special. Oh, I can leave you up. Do it. Oh, Betty, uh, can I see your ring? Oh, my. Oh, well, oh, would you look at that? That is. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. I know. I stole it from a body. <laughs> oh, there was a pretty bad house fire. Oh, I love it. And I love you. I love you. Come here, you. Mm. 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 Ooh, you had a big breakfast. <laughs> You make me so hungry. Hey, darling. Oh, Bob. Oh, Bob. I love you, Bob. I love you. Hi, Jimmy. Hey, Susie. I'm sorry I ran away like that last night. It was just all so unexpected, I guess. I got scared. I understand. So you have fangs now. Can I see them? I am proud to be guiding these lost souls these monsters of the underworld. Group therapy is really doing wonders for everyone, realizing we are not alone in this. The whole vampire thing hasn't been so bad. My daughter finally thinks I'm cool. My wife finds me irresistible. And Bob moved out. He's just across the street, but he's not here. So my daughter's teenage vampire boyfriend lives here now, and he's like the son I never had. We wanted. Well, <laughs> it's all perspective, really. I will outlive everyone I know. I will watch my beautiful wife and daughter age and die in front of me as I remain like this forever. I may have to drink the blood of a human from time to time, but I never pick anyone who doesn't deserve it. All in all, I have been chosen and I am honored to be a pivotal part of the dark world. After all, we all have a little monster in us. We hope you enjoyed our little tale. And if you like this, then you will love what's to come. <laughs>
with the monster mash From my laboratory in the castle east To the master bedroom where the vampires feast The ghouls all came from their humble abode To get a jolt from my electro They did the mash They did the monster mash The monster mash It was a graveyard smash They did the mash It caught on in a flag They did the mash They did the monster mash The zombies were having fun The party had just begun The guests included Wolfman Dracula and his son The scene was rocking All were digging the sounds Igor on chains Back by his baying hounds The coffin was banging Watch a vampire dad. Hope you liked it. B buy more tickets. You're watching this on cable. <laughs>